Hey guys, what's up? This is Dario of Dogler Art, and today I wanted to share with you a time lapse of one of my newest illustrations called He Sees. Hope you guys enjoy it, and here we go. So, this piece, I created it a few days ago. As I was thinking about just our situation with our world and everything that's happening, for a moment there, I was able to kind of think about, like, what is it that God sees when He looks at the world? I mean, when we look at the news and we find out about a family member or a loved one with this whole virus situation going on in our world, uh, this pandemic, we get we get filled with uh, so much uncertainty and fear. And when we look at the news and we find that X amount of numbers of deaths have happened, and just uh, the whole suffering that's going on in the world, you you think about that and you you see that in the news, and it's so close to us, so near to us. Uh, whether it's a friend or a friend of a friend, a family member, it, it really breaks your heart when you think about the suffering that's going on in our world, especially when it hits home. And so we see all this up close and personal. We, we experience this. Um, we know about it. And so it's difficult. It's tough. It's something that is hard to process because there's not one pill just to solve the problem that is suffering in our world. And so as I thought about this, I looked at this canvas, empty canvas, and I just kind of I could see the Lord looking at the world from a distance and just with compassion and mercy, being a God who is able to do the impossible and far beyond what we expect. Uh, he knows our suffering and He sees it and still He's there. He's there to meet us where we are and we know as Christians and we have the hope that one day all suffering, all pain will be done away with. That is the hope that we have as, as believers in Jesus that uh, although we, we suffer and go through many trials in this world, the tribulations that we face in this life are not worthy to be compared with the glory that is to be revealed when Jesus Christ comes in His coming. And so I saw this and I, I could see our world very small, a small sphere. Yet we who are in this world, who are specks of dust, we know the suffering and chaos that is going on in this world. Yet in God's eyes it is so small, yet He condescends to us. He is merciful, He is compassionate, He is loving, He Himself, He came into our world. Uh, he walked where we have walked, He has suffered beyond what we have ever suffered, all to win for himself a people, a people that would know him and love him, a people that he would call his own. So as he, as I draw him here, he's looking at the world. I drew him fist-handed because it's to show that he is more than capable and he is powerful. Um, and he, he is powerful and that is represented in the sense that he is the lion, the lion of Judah, and he is a king. He is the king of kings. He is the king of this sphere, of this world. Uh, and this God, He sees us, He knows us, and He loves us. And we have the hope that one day, all this suffering will be done away with. So as He stands there, He knows that there is a time coming when all suffering will end, and He will bring about a new heaven and a new earth, the promise that He has made for all who trust in Him. So I hope that as you see this, you're inspired to trust Him in the sovereignty and the might and power of God. That our world, He sees it, He knows it, and yet He still rules and reigns over all things. That even our suffering doesn't escape Him. He knows it. He has felt it. He feels it. He knows firsthand what it's like to suffer. And so we can rest on Him, we can trust in Him, that He has everything under control and that He will bring about His will and purposes for why He allows the things that are happening and that we are, we are with Him. He has us with Him. So I hope that I was able to communicate this through this illustration. I hope it blesses you. I hope it encourages you. And if you find it encouraging, I hope that you will share it with someone else, with a friend, a close friend, someone that you may know is also going through a difficult time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you liked it, go ahead and share it with someone else. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notifications button so that you'll be notified when new videos come out. Alright, see you guys.